Chair recognizes Ms. Isaac to explain the bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. Section 229.001 of the Local Government Code prohibits municipalities from adopting regulations relating to a host of activities related to firearms, weapons, Speaker. and ammunition. House Bill 3137. Mr. Johnson, for what purpose? Will the young lady leave for a question? For questions, yes. She will yield for questions. Representative Ice, does your bill take away the legal authority of cities to be able to govern themselves? How does that relate to this bill? What does your bill do? It protects our Second Amendment right. What does your bill specifically do? It will not allow municipalities to require insurance on firearms. So otherwise, other words, does your bill prohibit mayors, city councils, and county commissioners from legally governing themselves when it comes to guns? They do not have this right. They don't have the right to do what? To infringe upon our Second Amendment. You mean, again, cities, mayors? Correct. Do mayors, city councils, and county commissioners have a right to pass laws that protect the citizens of their community? As long as it doesn't infringe on our constitutional rights. The constitutional right to do what? To protect ourselves with our Second Amendment. From what? from a tyrannical government. A tyrannical government? Which government currently is being tyrannical? Say that again, I'm sorry. Which government is currently being tyrannical? Yeah, it would prevent any tyrannical government. Is there a municipality currently that this law is in place? Yes, actually there is. Where? San Jose, California. Oh, I, I didn't know we were California. I'm, I'm asking in Texas. You didn't that. Texas. I'm sorry, I said that again. Is there a city in you Texas? Okay. Okay. Um, no, there is not, and that's the and so this bill question, will prevent that from happening here in Texas. So then that means we're legislating nothing. We're preventing it from happening here in Texas. So it hasn't happened yet? That's correct. And so, again, we're legislating nothing. Don't California my Texas. Are we legislating nothing? So we're legislating nothing. There's no city that is currently doing we're this. Or, or, or we are protecting our Second Amendment right here in Texas. We, we're protecting that. That's yes. great. I'm glad preventing we're protecting. Preventing it from happening. I want us to protect our rights. Everybody here wants to protect the rights of every citizen. We want to make sure that every citizen is protected and has the legal authority to do what they need to do. I'll wait. I'm My sorry. question is, when we pass laws, do you think we pass laws in the state of Texas to protect citizens? Yeah, I, I'm sorry, you have to, I have to say that again. Let me put my earpiece do, in. Okay. Is it your opinion that we pass laws in this state to protect citizens? We also pass laws to guard our rights. And Again, my our question. This, I, I promise you, this is not a gotcha. This is. I'm not trying to set you up. I'm actually asking a very specific question. Do we pass laws in this state from this body, cities, municipalities, and counties? Do we pass laws to protect citizens? Yes. Do you believe, Mr. Johnson of Harris? Please confine your remarks to the bill before the House. I, yes, sir. Do you believe criminals? Do you believe criminals like laws? Criminals, only law-abiding citizens obey laws. Law-abiding citizens obey laws. Mm -hmm. So again, if we are, if municipalities want to create a law for their particular 
community that protects them. That city council, that mayor, that county commissioner have all said we want to protect our citizens of this community. Do you think they have the authority and the right to protect their city from unlawful people? As long as it doesn't infringe upon our rights. I'm, the rights of that community was elected. I'm just, you keep saying the rights. I'm asking for that city. Do cities have the, have the right, right to protect their citizens? I'm not trying to infringe on your rights. I'm not trying to infringe yes, on anybody's rights. I'm simply in asking, can a mayor, county commissioner, city council make the decision to protect their citizens? Not of where you're from. I'm saying for, I'm from Houston. Can the mayor and the city council and the county commissioners all decide we want to protect our citizens without infringing upon your rights in wherever you're from? As long as it doesn't infringe upon our rights, yes. All right, so, no. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to find out is how and why, if a city wants to protect itself, would we as a state tell, because those cities are duly elected by the people that elected them, and they can make laws that need to be changed if necessary. Do we as a state need to govern cities? When they infringe upon our rights, yes. Thank you. When they infringe upon the rights, my question is, what city has infringed upon the rights of citizens in the state of Texas? With this bill, with a bill that would force the, anybody to carry insurance. Because currently you said there is no city currently that has an ordinance or a bill that forces them to. So again, if that city, if there's none, then what is the bill for? To Nobody's prevent, infringing on your rights right here, now. Don't California my Texas. I'm sorry? To prevent it from happening here in Texas. But it's not happening currently is my question. As, and it won't my after you this said passes. That. You said we don't want anybody infringing on your rights. That's right. Right. And right now, nobody is infringing upon your rights, right? And we want to keep it that way. We want to keep it that way. But can the cities make the decision for themselves? Unless they infringe upon our rights. Thank you, ma'am, for Thank you. not asking questions. I move passage. The question occurs on passage and engrossment HB 3137. This is a record vote. The clerk will ring the bell. So Mr. Leach voting, I'm Ms. Isaac voting, I'm Mr. Bumgarner voting, I'm Mr. Schottstein voting, I'm Mr. Or vote, Ms. Orr voting, uh, Mr. D'Alio voting, uh. all members voted. There being 87 hours and 57 days, HB 3137 is passed in engrossment. The chair lays out on second reading HB 4246. The clerk will read the bill.